Hello my little freaky neeks. Thank you for coming back to my channel for yet another video. We're gonna be doing a review slash first try of the Norvina collection. I'm very excited to play with this one and show you guys. So continue to watch and watch me create this look. As you can see that bottom row that second color is E2 I'm gonna be stepping into that color and packing that on my eye it's an orange color by the way so any orange color you have just go ahead and use that color and now I grabbed E4 and I put that a little bit above where I placed that orange As you can see, I keep blending in that area continuously to make sure that it's not harsh of a line. There's no edges, no streaks, or no patchiness. So go ahead and just keep blending like just, you know, a couple more seconds. It doesn't hurt to just blend a little bit more in an area. Of course, when you go ahead and blend the opposite side, make sure you clean your brush on a rag. Stepping back into that E2, which is that orange color, I'm packing that all on that lid again. That's without. Uh, I can't close one eye. Let me see. Does that work better if I close both eyes? Stepping back into that E4 and patting more color into just that crease. D1. It's a bit of a mustard color and I'm going to be adding that above above that E4. brighter yellow so I'm gonna be stepping into that Alyssa Edwards um, brick road so with the brush that I used to pack on E4 I went and packed on some more to blend that yellow and that orangey red color together Don't be afraid to keep packing on that eyeshadow. At the end of the day, it's your eyeshadow. You bought it, so layer that motherfucker up. Just make sure you blend before you pack on too much because you don't want it to look non-blended, okay? You want it to look very blended, as I mentioned many, many, many times before. Blend and pack. I kept in a bit of me showing you guys how much I blend on certain areas 
I do it with a fluffy brush, of course. I blend, 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 blend. Um, making sure that those edges look really nice. Like I want it to look beautiful. That D3 is a bit of a red color. So if you have any red eyeshadow, go ahead and pick that or grab that and use that, whatever. And just go ahead and pack that on your eye. Red. You want to use red. Okay. E4. And you're going to pack all that all on the bottom, just midway of your, of your eye blend back and then you're going to grab a fluffy brush clean fluffy brush and then blend that out so it's nice and smoky okay so this loose pigment i'm going to put on over this white but i'm putting on the white first just to really brighten up that area um so pack on some white any flat matte white that you have um beforehand and just pack in those uh corners of your eyes and yeah and then after you go ahead and do that you're obviously going to put on any loose pigment if you even have any loose pigment or even white glitter you can put on over that yourself a black eyeliner and start tracing your whole entire waterline eyeliner time so grab yourself a liquid liner and start putting your liquid eyeliner on on your top eyelid I'm doing this fun design that I usually always do that works with my eye shape so I go and make the tail first then I start forming the triangular shape and then I fill that in You're gonna to wanna to use any highlighter that you got. I'm gonna be using Marshmallow from the Anastasia Glow Kit. Cleaning up that eyeliner that I went over with the highlight accidentally to just, you know, make it nice and black again so it doesn't look spotty and stupid and highlighted when I need it to be boldly black. Mmm, boldly black. I like that the word just rolls off my tongue, boldly black. D3, which is a red, of course, and I'm going to be using that to make the designs on my face. And I'm applying that with a swish brush, so any small brush that you have would work perfectly fine. I don't know what to say here, so I'm just gonna let you watch me apply this paint, okay? Also, if there's any looks that you guys want me to do or get like any type of inspiration from and recreate it in my own vision, go ahead and comment what you want below and I will go ahead and try to recreate my version of whatever it is. Go ahead, comment whatever you like.
And now grab yourself some mascara. All right, it's that time to black out that neck. So any black eyeshadow that you don't give a fuck about or that works really good that you really give a lot of fucks about, use it and apply it on that neck to blacken out that neck to make your makeup pop. And if you don't want to black out your neck, then fuck it, skip it. But I love to black out my neck. Grab yourself a red lip liner to go ahead and outline your lips. I'm using the Kat Von D pomade to go ahead and start sculpting my brows. If you have any other suggestions on what to use as a white pomade, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I'd love to try out other products to see if they work, if they don't. using the Anastasia brow gel and jet to make the tail of my brow. Just like magic, I have a little bit more detail to my brows and a little bit more um, war paint lines on my forehead and also on my nose. Kors Setting Spray. Anastasia Setting Spray. All right, so as you guys seen already that I showed you a little part of the palette, I was so excited to play with it and I think it delivered very well. They come out so pigmented, which I really like because you know I love to pack and blend, pack and blend. And with this, I could just pack on just a few times and just a slight blend and it comes out beautiful. I mean, I still like to pack and blend, of course, but I feel like with these um, eyeshadows, it just came out so beautifully. Like it, I'm not just saying that it's because I'm on their PR list. I honestly feel like this palette is to die for. Like it's really good. It has all the colors that I genuinely use. Obviously the pinks, the purples, uh, the red is stunning. I played with that one today because I really don't have a red that I can play with. So the red in here, I love that it's a matte as well. I really like mattes. With that being said, I like that they only put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, nine shimmers in here. Wait, I love more matte colors because they just, you know, I could do more with the matte colors than with the shimmery colors. 
And I like that she didn't actually like name them like espresso. And I like that she put A1 and that's gonna be like a list A1 and everything that's on A is gonna be your purples pretty much. Yeah, no, no, I lied. It's not your purples. Uh, so anyways, it goes from A1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. C, D, and E. I feel like it looks more clean that way. For some reason, it reminds me of like math. I, I don't know why, but the palette itself is just stunning. I love, 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 love purple. Purple is my favorite color. Pink is not my favorite color. It's my favorite color in makeup. I don't know why. I just, I like pink in makeup. And it's weird because when I wear clothing, all my clothing is black. Everything is absolutely black. And I don't really like much of color. But when it comes to makeup, I love so much color. Many different colors. Um, but to go, like my go-to colors, of course, are pinks, purples, and... A little bit of yellows. I mean, I love yellow. Yellow is one of my also favorite colors. I think yellow looks stunning on almost everybody. So, yeah. Um, also, they when they sent over this package of this lovely palette, they also sent over first off, they sent it in this really cute box right here. Um, so, yeah, you go ahead and obviously open it. He sent it in here. Pretend that it's that it's in here. It came in another box, but I'm not gonna put it in the box and take it out of the box just to show you what it looks like. So you get the hint. It was in another box like this in here, and then they also sent over their um, another primer. Loved their primer. I like that it's a white based primer and that it stays that color. Of course, if you blend it out, it uh, shears out to pretty much nothing. Um, but I like it to be kind of bold and white because I like to pack on my eyeshadow. But yeah, so I think this box is really cute that they sent over the palette in. And not only should I say one more time that they did not only send over their palette, they also sent over this lovely lip that you see that I have on. There's four new colors. It comes in this uh, case. It's only gonna be um, available online, I was told, on their website. I don't know, I believe the palette as well. I, th I believe the palette as well, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. The colors for sure are gonna be just on their website. Um, it's called Coral Crush, these four colors. And I usually do not go for colors like this for example because i feel like it makes the outline of my lip not look realistic but for some reason i feel like it came out very very well i like the way that it came out it doesn't bleed at all so that's another thing and it feels very light it's very light on the lips it doesn't feel so heavy i really like their other formulas as well of course but this one feels a little bit more lighter it doesn't feel as um like you have much product on your lip. It just feels kind of like a, I don't know, like right now, obviously it feels like I have something on cause I have lip liner, plus I have this. And then I put on a little bit of eyeshadow over it because I really wanted to just like darken in the sides, the corners, the top. And I mean that when I did that, I did it with the red that's in here as well. So I did it with the red, the D3 and I grabbed a brush, I grabbed this swish brush, so the one that has, that looks like this, I dabbed it in here. So I dabbed it in and I just pretty much traced all around the perimeter of my lips. That's it. Like it just traced my entire lips with it, but very softly. I didn't drag or anything like that. I pretty much tapped everything. And if you notice, I don't really like swipe much of anything. A lot of the stuff that I do is just tap motions because after you tap it on, yes, it's gonna be bold, but the more that you tap, the more that it blends out. So I, yeah, I definitely just tap that in.
I also wanted to say congratulations to Norvina for this palette. You did such an amazing job with this. The colors are just gorgeous. I like the color combination that you picked. I like that it has your bright colors. It has some browns, like some warm colors. It just has a little bit of everything that I absolutely love, to be honest. It has your pinks, your reds, your purples. It has a matte white. It has a matte black, which are amazing. Like, I love that they put a white and a black on a palette that has uh, multiple colors like this because you need that transition shade plus you need that like shadow shade and i feel like that's such a good move to put both a black and a white on a colorful palette um and especially them the white not being shiny because i feel like they put a lot of white shimmery shadows on most palettes and that kind of fucking bothers me like it legit bothers me that they always put like a shimmery white and it's like dude i need a freaking matte white i don't need a fucking another shimmer color if i wanted another shimmer color i would have used all the other 10 colors that there are of shimmer but no i needed a matte white and you don't have it but luckily this one did and it works really good it's very pigmented I overall i think the palette is marvelous as i've mentioned and these coral colors you know i've never thought i would like a coral colored lip but I really like this one. By the way, I used Spicy. Spicy is the one that I used. I think it's look, it came out really good with this look. It flowed together and I was debating on even putting on a red lip because I was like, you know what? I'm not a fan of red lips on me. I think I look a little silly when I put on red lips or any other color that's like not a dark brown or a black or any just dark colored lip. But this one in particular, I feel like it flowed really well. It just, it looks good. Like I really like it. I'm surprised at myself. I'm surprised at myself. I really like it. I like this palette, it's probably one of my favorites now. And that's hard to come by because I'm very picky when it comes to <coughs> a favorite palette. I mean, I know when I'm on, on video, it's like I'm using the same palettes of like the Alyssa Edwards or I'm using the, Riv the Riviera palette. But to be honest, I'm using a little bit of everything. Like I don't judge, but I'm picky when it comes to the product not being as um, bold as I want it to. I mean, sure, there's some eyeshadows that you kind of need to like pack and pack and pack and pack a little bit more in order to start seeing some type of um, pigment. But all the eyeshadows that I usually use for the most part are very pigmented. Like I like using Makeup Forever. Anastasia, I like using um, Violet Voss, I like using Kat Von D, I like using different eyeshadows um, and as long as they work then I'm buying it and I'm using them and I'm gonna slather them all over my entire face. So yeah. Hmm.